I'm going to show you guys how to make the Vivian dress pattern. This pattern is available in my bio for purchase. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL and in AO, A4, and US letter. This is an ankle length dress that has a completely cut outside with grommets that laces up. It's super, super cute and honestly, it's one of my favorite patterns. This pattern does also come along with the written instructions. Feel free to follow along with those. And without any further ado, let's get started on how to make the Vivian dress. So starting out, I've already cut out all of my pattern pieces according to what's marked on the pattern. I have my front skirt piece here, and you can see I have my darts marked. I'm gonna fold this in on each other. This is the wrong side of the fabric. So the right sides are facing each other, and I'm just gonna pin together these darts, both of them, and I will sew those into place both for my lining and for my main fabric. You'll see this is actually my lining. The reason I'm doing that is because my main fabric is beaded and it's a little bit harder to see, but just remember for this video purposes, this is actually my lining that I have sewn down. And then here is my main fabric that I have also already gone ahead and sewn down. Remember that you want your lining and your main pieces to be opposites of each other. So there is a smaller side on this pattern. The smaller sides when your right sides are up will be the opposite sides for your front piece. Now I've got my two back pieces and we are gonna sew our darts exactly like we did with the front. We're gonna fold those in on each other with the right sides facing, pin in place and sew. And you'll have four of these. So I have two with the lining fabric, this is my lining, and you'll have two with your main fabric. So four total darts that will get sewn down. Now that all of those darts are sewn down, you can see I have my front piece right here. I'm gonna take the corresponding side and connect those just at the side. Remember the corresponding side is going to be curved. The center back is always going to be straight so you don't get confused. So we're gonna place those right sides together with the corresponding sides and we are going to sew that down into place. I'm also gonna do those exact same steps with my main fabric. So when you're done with this, you should have two kind of half dresses, one with your lining and one with your main fabric. Once both of those are sewn up, we're gonna set them aside. We're gonna do our straps really quick before we move on. You can see I have both of my straps. I'm gonna take my lining and place it right sides facing on top of my main fabric, pin this in place and sew it all down. Once that's sewn, I'm just gonna trim off the seam allowance. This will help the straps get really nice and flat. And then I'm gonna take a loop turner. You can also use a safety pen, whatever you prefer and think is easiest. And I am just going to flip these inside out. Once it's flipped inside out, I'm actually going to top stitch this. I didn't video this, but you'll see once the dress is done that my straps are top stitched. It helps them sit flat so they're not all kind of rounded like that. Now I've laid out my main fabric dress again. You can see I have my nice top stitch straps and I am going to place those where it is marked on the pattern. There is a mark on your pattern for where your straps should go. And I'm gonna place the tip of those where that is and clip into place. And then I'm going to grab my lining and place it over with right sides facing and I'm going to clip down the tops and I'm going to make sure I'm aligning all of those seams so that everything is lining up from the end to the side seam to all of those darts to look like they're matching in person. And then I'm going to sew and pin the side seam. Again, the side seam is the one with the curve, not the side that I just touched. That is the center back and it is a straight line. That's where our zipper will go. So we are gonna sew up the entire top and the entire side for our front and back side piece. Once that's done, I'm going to trim off that seam allowance. I'm also gonna trim off a little bit of the top and cut little slits so that it sits nice and flat when we flip this right side out. Now I'm gonna follow the exact same steps for our remaining back piece. I am going to take our lining, place it right sides facing, pin the top and then pin the side, leaving that center back, that straight seam open. We're gonna sew that way later because that's gonna be our zipper. Once I have this all pinned in place, I'm going to sew it down and then we will trim our seam allowance just like we did our front piece. Once those are sewn up and trimmed, I'm gonna flip my two pieces over to their lining side and I'm gonna cut a strip of about one inch wide of interfacing and I'm gonna iron this on down the entire side again on my lining side for both the front piece and the back side piece. 
This interface thing is gonna really help so that those grommets don't pull on that side and it's gonna help give it structure. So both of this, the interfacing sides, again, are going on your lining and it's going on the side where your grommets are gonna be placed, so that open side. And you wanna do this after you've already cut off your seam allowance because you wanna make sure it's inside the seam. The next step is optional, so I didn't film it. You can do a top stitch, which I have done all along the sides and the top. Or if you do not want any top stitching on the outside of your garment, you can attach the seam allowance to your lining to help everything from rolling over. Or you can just press your garment. It is up to you, but right now I'm just preparing to attach that zipper. So starting with my left side on this video, we are going to unzip our zipper. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to flip the teeth so that they are facing away from the center back. Once that's done, I'm going to pin this all the way down. I'm gonna leave about an inch from the bottom of my zipper. And again, I am just doing this with the main fabric. We'll attach the lining after we've attached it on the main fabric. And I'll show you what this looks like once it's all pinned up. Now that it's all pinned up with just my main fabric, my lining is behind it there. I'll take this to my sheen and sew it up with my zipper foot. In between each step, I like to zip up my zipper, just to make sure it's looking okay, that it's not snagged on anything. And then I'll move on to the other side. Again, we're gonna flip our zipper so that the teeth are facing away from the center back. And we are going to pin that just to the main fabric. Our lining is behind it there. We're not pinning the lining just yet. And I will pin this all the way down. And once I'm done, I just wanna make sure I'm stopping the zipper at the same time and everything's looking okay. I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew it down making sure my zipper looks good. And once I'm satisfied with everything, I'm gonna close up the bottom. So I'm gonna flip this so that we can see the inside and we're gonna close up the bottom. And when you do this, you wanna try to get really, really close to the top of that zipper. So I like to pull my zipper out of the way and then make sure I'm pinning. And again, you wanna really sew right as where that zipper ends, which is why I leave that tail. When you're pinning this, you're only gonna pin to where it's marked on the pattern. We are gonna leave a vent open since this is such a tight dress. It's gonna make it much easier to walk. Once that's done, I'm gonna lay my dress out once more. I'm gonna take my lining and bring this up and over, kind of turning it inside out. And I'm gonna take the right side of my lining and place it to the right side of my main fabrics with the teeth of the zipper still facing away from the center back and I'm gonna pin this into place. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with both sides and then I'll show you guys once this, what this looks like once it's all done. You do this so that way when you turn it inside out, you will have a perfectly nice zipper that's sandwiched in between these and you won't see any of those raw seams. So again, we're gonna take our lining, I'm doing this for the opposite side, take it all the way up and over, bring the right side of the lining to the right side of the fabric. And here's what that's gonna look like once you have both sides all sewn up. You can see my lining and my main fabric are right sides together. We are gonna close up the bottom just like we did the main fabric, but first I'm gonna flip this inside out and I'm just gonna check and make sure my zipper is looking nice and neat. You can see that it's sandwiched in between both. There's no raw edges. And I'm gonna zip this up and make sure everything looks okay. Now we're gonna close up our lining. This is the right side of my lining. I'm gonna flip this inside out once more and we are going to close up our lining just like we did on the main fabric, trying to get right at the end of where that zipper is. You can see it's open right there at the left of my screen. And again, we're only going to pin and sew down to where it's marked on the pattern and we will work on that vent once this is done. Now that all of that is closed, I have this nice zipper. We are going to work on closing that vent. So I have my dress laid out here. I am just going to fold in the main fabric and the lining fabric in on itself, following along with the seams that we have already sewn. So I'm slowly just folding these in, pinning along on both sides, and then we will finish this off with a nice top stitch all the way down from one side to that top triangle piece and then down another in one continual stitch just pivoting with our machine so that it looks nice and neat and closed. 
Once our event is all done and our top stitch is ready, we are going to just hem our dress. I'm doing this with my main fabric combining with my line fa lining fabric. You can do them separately if your fabric is a little bit thicker, but I'm just folding this in towards my lining side, sewing down and then trimming off the seam allowance. This will help reduce a lot of the bulk and help it sit a little bit flatter. Once that's trimmed off, I'm going to fold in once more and this is gonna conceal all those raw edges and then sew it down again. At this point, you should have what looks like a strange half open side dress. We're gonna start working on our grommets. I'm using a 3 4 inch grommet and I'm doing them one inch apart and I'm marking that all the way down both sides of my dress. You do not have to follow this if you wanna use a different size grommet. The only thing I would suggest is don't put them too far apart or it might make your dress a little bit wavy. It is all up to you on the size of your grommet or how far apart you wanna use them as well. With a 3 4 inch grommet, I did use 82 grommets so i do suggest buying them from amazon as opposed to like a joann's just because i had to use so many i also want to note you do not need a grommet press like i have mine is from amazon if you guys are interested in getting a grommet press i believe it was about 45 dollars and it works great but you can also get a grommet kit that is super cheap but you just will need a hammer and that will work just as well as my grommet press now I'm gonna lace up the side of my dress. You do want a really long string for this. I would suggest 2.5 to three yards. Cut it even longer so that way you don't have to keep doing this again. And then I am just going to lace up the dress. The grommets and the lacing is easily probably the longest part of this dress, but it does look really cool once it's done. Now we're gonna do the ruching. I leave these last two steps last on purpose, and I like to ruch by hand. You can do this with a ruching foot, but essentially I am just taking a needle and thread and I'm going all the way down till it's marked on the pattern, or you can go deeper or higher, however you want your sweetheart to look. And then once I have that, I'm just going to pull at the thread and ruch that until I like how it looks and then i'm gonna kind of go and reinforce this so that i make sure it stays and then i when i tie this thread off this needle and thread i want to make sure i kind of hide the knot so everything is on the inside and in between those layers and also super secure this is the point where i suggest trying your dress on seeing how you like the ruching and seeing how long you want the straps the straps are a little bit longer on purpose because everyone is a little bit different and I leave this last so that you can put the final dress on and see exactly what it looks like and see how you want your straps. I have already put mine on and marked how I want my straps to fit. So now I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna pin them to the inside where I have it marked and I'm going to sew down both my straps. This is easily, I think, one of the most exciting parts of the dress making process because we are almost done. Once we have those pinned and sewed down, all we're going to do is cut off the excess fabric. And we want to cut that really close so it still looks nice and neat, even though it is the inside of the garment. And that is your final step. You have a fully lined, open, corset sided, really, really beautiful custom dress that you've made for yourself. Subscribe and follow along if you guys want new pattern releases or tutorials on how to make dresses like this. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this.